Today's video is about Octoprint. First, go to raspberrypi.com to buy a Raspberry Pi. You can also buy them on Amazon or AliExpress. Raspberry Pi is a powerful single board computer designed for learning programming, which is now used in many areas. What we use is the old model Raspberry Pi 2B. You might want to print one box to protect your Pi. Here are all the things you need. You can buy them anywhere you like. A USB to printer cable, you can find one in the KP3S package box. You can use a longer cable instead. A Raspberry Pi power supply, just go get a decent one on Amazon, Raspberry requires higher input voltage than your phone. If you are using a Raspberry Pi 4, you will need one with a USB-C port. A wireless adapter, if you are using a newer model than 2B, skip this and of course, a Raspberry Pi. And an SD card, the volume has to be larger than 16 GB. Choose a 32 GB one with a higher speed if you are going to do time lapse on Octopi. To flash the Octopi firmware, first, you need to download software from the Raspberry Pi website, just choose the version that fits your computer. We are using a Mac, so we choose a Mac version. Open the software you just installed, Find Other Specific Purpose OS, click Octopi, choose Octopi. Then you need to preset the Wi Fi. Press the following keys to open the setting. SSH will be a function that you may use later, so we recommend enabling it and setting a password. Follow the steps, then you are done with the Wi Fi preset. Choose Storage and start flashing the firmware. You may want to double check the storage's name in case you get any files lost. Once you've finished, insert the SD card to your Pi, connect the power cable and the Wi-Fi adapter, connect the Pi to the printer then power the Pi up. Please make sure you have set the Wi-Fi password correctly and the power supply for the Pi is enough. Wait for a minute, open the browser, visit Octopi local. This step will take a little time. Just make sure your computer and the Pi are connecting to the same Wi-Fi. Another thing you might want to know is, your Pi does not support a 5G Wi-Fi signal. Now we entered the setup guide. You will need to create an account, then set up the rest according to your own need. We do recommend setting a strong password and turning off the usage tracking, you know, for better privacy. If you don't know how to set it, just keep it as default. Once you've finished, you may want to change your printer profile. The default profile does not fit KP3S. All you need to do is to set up the printer volume. It is 180 by 180 by 180 millimeters for KP3S. Click the connect, your printer should be connected automatically. Before starting, you may want to do an operating test. Just switch to the control panel, try to operate all the XYZ axis, see if everything works fine. Normally it should be fine. If not, please check the former steps to see if there is anything wrong. Ok, our test finished, everything's fine. Let's move to the next step. You might have noticed, the Octopi have recognized and synced all the files on your SD card. We recommend creating a new folder for Octopi so that we can manage the files more clearly. It will help when you start using Collapse. Before printing, you can preheat with your own settings. Or you can just wait for the printer to read the G code itself. Preheating will save you some time. Once the preheating is done, you can click print to start. The printer will print like it was before. All axis home, then the print head goes down and starts to print. But there are no changes on the screen, everything is driven by the Raspberry Pi. What we want to remind you is don't power off, disconnect, or operate the printer once start printing from Octopi. The resume print won't work in this mode. Now is the second round of printing, and you can see there is no difference on prints, everything is the same when using the Octopi. But Octopi is connecting to the internet, which gives it more possibilities. 
Plugins are one great thing about Octopi. There are plenty of plugins with thousands of functions you can download and install to expand it. Octolapse is a popular plugin that helps you make amazing time-lapse videos. If you have any plan for a time-lapse video, you can follow our steps and install it. We will upload a new video on how to set up Octopus soon. Also, the most popular thing among 3D printing, the Clipper firmware. Clipper firmware is now available for KP3S, and Octopi is required for it.